Welcome everybody to another episode in our series on Introduction to Anthropology. In these next two episodes, we are going to be delving into sociocultural anthropology, the field that's probably closest to what I deal with. So sociocultural anthropology deals with cultures of the presence. And while we sometimes do research cultures of the past in terms of cross-cultural analysis, we predominantly focus on those cultures that are alive today. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the work of sociocultural anthropologists, particularly in regards to the anthropology of arts, digital anthropology, the anthropology of food, and kinship, a part of human culture that exists across time and space. Let's begin. The anthropology of art is a weirdly controversial subfield of sociocultural anthropology. People from Western Europe or Anglo-America, places like the United States or Canada, may take for granted the ideas of art as examples through painting, sculpture, or literature. But anthropologically speaking, these three concepts are pretty foreign to most of the world and world history. So anthropologists who specialize in researching art look at a more broadly, more general idea of an aesthetically appealing object created intentionally, usually intentionally to create some form of visual aesthetic or as a means of trying to create some form of change in the world through an aesthetic imagery. As you can imagine, the internet provided a new community for a global audience. And because of that, anthropologists immediately became fascinated with it. So digital anthropology specifically deals with the anthropology of essentially the internet, sometimes referred to as cyber anthropology or even cyborg anthropology, which I think sounds way cooler. Uh, cyber anthropology deals with researching the culture and cultures that create themselves as a uh, sort of response to the internet and internet culture. Uh, so this can go from studying things like online video game communities to online chat rooms and even online dating apps on the mobile phones. There's been a lot of really cool research in this field and a lot of cool research that's going into the future of this field as well. As a lot of what we think of as social space within our own cultures like the United States are very much turning to online in order to maintain themselves, specifically during covid uh, including myself for making these YouTube videos. And even the study of people who make YouTube videos would fall under digital anthropology as well. The anthropology of food is a bit more complicated than just tasting foods from around the world. Anthropologists who specialize in researching food look at the ways in which food can act as a sort of proverbial crossroads of the complex histories of a culture and the contemporary issues they face, not just in the foods they make, but also the ingredients that they cultivate that may be produced and consumed on an international level, like, for example, coffee beans or cacao or bananas, and how those ingredients move from one culture to other cultures, and the complex politics, economics, and other cultural attributes that feed into the production and distribution of food. Anthropologists who study kinship look at the relationships within families. This can include ideas of how we define cousins, 
the relationship between grandparents and their grandchildren, and even who in a particular society is allowed to marry who, or who's not allowed to marry who. It also looks at how socialization works within a family, how children are raised, who raises the children, and also lineage, where when somebody dies, who gets what from that deceased member of the family. It can also delve into the history of how names might work with a particular culture and how marriage and other relationships with non-blood relatives may work in the larger context of defining family. In our next episode, we will take a look at more work of sociocultural anthropologists, specifically legal anthropology, the anthropology of media, musical anthropology, political anthropology, and the anthropology of religion. But for all of that, I will see you in the next episode.